You know, um, I thought I'd start off the show tonight by talking about the story that has captured the nation's attention. Because that's, that's what this job is supposed to be about, is me leading the nation through the top stories. <laughs> I'm, uh, and trying to joke along the way, we gave that up a long time ago. I am speaking, of course, of the intense media focus on California Congressman Gary Condit, all right? Now, amazingly, this guy, I mean, he hasn't talked to anybody, all right? He hasn't given any interviews, he's not speaking to the public, everyone's trying to get an interview with him. Amazingly, the congressman has finally agreed to break his public silence by talking to us here tonight. <laughs> I can't believe he's doing this. But he agreed, he said, I will only talk to Conan, so please welcome, live, via satellite, Congressman Gary Condit. Let's get him in here. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us, Congressman Condit. It's a pleasure to be here, Conan. <laughs> now, sir, let's get uh, right into it. You've been slammed for making every wrong move since this scandal broke. Scandal? What scandal? <laughs> I've told the authorities everything I know and even passed a carefully administered lie detector test. Yeah, but sir, that lie detector test was conducted by a lawyer you hired. True, but the test was then ruled perfectly legal by a judge I hired. <laughs> That's great. That's very Conan, good. Conan, I think everybody's missing the big picture here. Instead of dwelling on my non-cooperation and obstruction of justice, people should be focusing on what's really important. My rigid, emotionless smile. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's great, sir. You, you do smile a lot, yeah. I cut tendons in my face to maintain this smile. The big news today is that you have a younger brother named Daryl Wayne Condit, who in addition to being an ex-con and a drug addict, is a fugitive from the law. Conan, I've never heard of this alleged brother, Daryl, and I assume it's some sort of... Hi, Gary. Well, alleged brother Daryl. What a surprise. Sorry to interrupt, Gary, but I got sick of waiting in your car. Not now, Daryl. Oh, did I screw up again? Just get back in there. There's some cheese whiz and crystal meth in the back seat. <laughs> All right, now, Ooh. sir, that was not good right there. Oh, was it just me, or did that guy look kind of suspicious? <laughs> he wasn't smiling at all. Maybe the investigation should focus on him. Maybe he did what I did. I mean, probably did, but it can't be proven. All right, look, sir. <laughs> sir, let's face it. Ever since this scandal broke, you've been making mistake after mistake. That's because I've been listening to the wrong people. I've hired an advisor who knows what I'm going through. Let's get him out here. How you doing there? How you doing, everybody? Robert Blake? It's Robert Blake, everybody. Robert Blake. Hello, I'm bird. You hear me? What? What? What's what, the name of that? What, what are you I saying, got a new bird. You got a, got new, a bird? new bird? A new bird. New cockatoo. A new cockatoo. New bird. Yeah, from the old show. That's nice. A new, new pet bird. New bird. New bird. I'm here to advise Mr. Condit here. That's the name of that tune. Okay, no, no, okay. Tell you that. Now, wait a minute. Congressman Condit, you asked Robert Blake to advise you? That's right. His streetwise charm tends to make you forget the insanity of his alibi. Yeah, <laughs> alibi forgetting. That's the name of that tune. You can take that to the bank. <laughs> take that tune to the bank. What? I live with a murderer. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. <laughs> hmm, bird flew away. <laughs> what are you going to do? No more bird. Bird, uh... Bird flew away. Bird just, uh, bird just flew away, huh? Bird flew away. Bird just went away, huh? No more bird. Yeah, bird's just gone, huh? Gone bird. Bye-bye yeah. bird. So where did the, uh, where'd the bird go? Bird flew south for the winter. It's summer. It's winter somewhere. That's the name of that tune. And take that to the bank where they keep all the tunes. All right. You're cracking yourself up anyway. What was the, uh... What was the loud bang I heard, Mr. Blake? Firecrackers, yeah. The bird played with firecrackers. Fourth of July. Fourth right. of July, but sir, that summer, you said it was flying south for the winter. No more bird. All right. Okay, folks, I gotta go. Uh, like I remember, like I always say, don't do the crime if you can't make up a ridiculous story of what you were doing at the time. That's very nice. Robert Blake, everybody. Sir, I really don't think Robert Blake is the best guy to be giving you advice. Whoever gives you advice should be someone who is trustworthy, someone who's honorable, Yee someone who can never... Former, uh, 
uh, former President Bill Clinton, everybody. Reporting for duty. <laughs> All right, the master has returned. <laughs> and school is in session. <laughs> now, what, what do you mean, school is in session? What school? That's what, that session is what Okay, I that's I know. So what do you mean, school, sir? All right, Conan, allow me to get serious for a second. <laughs> is nothing more disgraceful and shameful than an elected public servant who lies to the public <laughs> unconvincingly okay so that's upsetting you that's yeah. why i'm here baby that's tcb great. taking care of bees knees all right that's that's first great. of all gary mr condit let's see how closely you've been following my liar's checklist all right all right have you been unavailable and or evasive with the press? Yes. Have you asked any ex-lovers or nutty brothers to lie on your behalf? Yes. All right. Have you asked the public to look the other way and move on in light of the booming economy? We're in a recession. Ooh, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you, man. Yeah. 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 Sucks to be me. We're going to take a little break. We come back, Billy Crystal's here. Stick around, Mr. Oh, President. President.